celebrate challenge welcome back to my channel and a full dessert collaboration i am doing with d from d lovely life you can check her channel down below and i'm sure she'll put a playlist together i believe that my everyday wife life michelle is part of this challenge as well if you are brand new thank you for joining me i'm sophia my channel is called my great challenge my great challenge is basically my home my home environment i have difficulty keeping everything clean and organized so i am always in the middle of a project trying to get things together decluttering bringing things back decluttering again it's an endless cycle i'm sure you can relate check out my channel i have a lot of videos on cooking of course and i've started a series on vintage cooking by the way lots of diy lots of day in the life lots of organization cleaning videos and uh, holiday stuff and then my hobby which is sewing so there's some sewing and quilting too thank you for checking this out what am i making today as part of this challenge i am making a pumpkin crumb bar dessert and i found this recipe on a website i'll put the link down below that's called cooking classy i wanted to do something pumpkin related but do not want to do a pumpkin pie it's kind of boring we all get that every year around this time and i didn't want to do something that was too dry either so i figured hey this sounds pretty good you'll see it in a minute once i'm done with the recipe it's basically a pumpkin pie except that it has crust at the bottom and another one on the top it's made with oatmeal and brown sugar and eggs and uh, lots of other ingredients so without further ado grab your pen and paper I'm going to give you all the ingredients you need for the crust and the ingredients you need for the pie filling so let's get started So I'm going to start by giving you the ingredients for the crust. Um, a lot of you are visual, so I want to make sure that everything is displayed properly so you can take notation. We have um, one and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. This is the equivalent, same amount of oats, so old-fashioned oats is fine. That's one and a quarter a cup. Over here is a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a cup of granulated sugar, that's just regular white sugar, and then the same amount in light brown sugar. Make sure it's light brown, not the uh, regular brown sugar. This is three quarter of a cup of butter, so if you buy um, the full sticks, that would be one and a half sticks of unsalted butter. These ones came in as the uh, half sticks, so I need three of those. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract, this is all I need just for the crust. So we have flour, oatmeal, sugar, regular sugar, and brown sugar, salt, baking soda, butter, and vanilla extract. Now these are the ingredients for the uh, pie filling, the actual pumpkin filling. So here we go. We have a quarter cup of granulated sugar and the same amount in light brown sugar. So that's a quarter of a cup of white sugar and a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. The next ingredients are the dry spices. So we have one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, this is a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger, and one eighth of a teaspoon of cloves. And this is a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Then you need two large eggs, but you actually only need uh, one full egg and the second egg is just the yolk. So you'd need two yolks basically and one white. And of course a little bit more of the vanilla extract and we're going to use a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract for this. But what happened to the pumpkin? Well, this is one and a quarter cup of pumpkin puree and this is the unsweetened variety because I already have the sugar. So I'm going to sweeten it with the brown and the white sugar. I don't need to buy the sweetened version. And we need a third of a cup of evaporated milk. And if you're not sure what that is, that would be the good old fashioned carnation that comes in a can. You can also use half and half if you want to. So before I start mixing my dry ingredient, the first thing I want to do is turn the oven on at 350 degrees. So here it goes, I'm going to start with my dry ingredient. 
going to add my flour and my oats. Mix this together. Then add my baking soda and salt. And my two sugars. I have white sugar and brown sugar. And I'm going to mix until I have no clumps other than the oatmeal flakes. Next, I'm going to melt my butter and fortunately for me, I have a microwave that has a melting butter function. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to melt my butter in the microwave and then I'll add the vanilla to it. And it's melted. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Mix that together. So I'm just using a wooden spoon here and I'm going to add my melted butter and vanilla a little bit at a time. Okay, that's enough. So you see you want to have this kind of texture, which is pretty much what you get on a crumb cake, right? Except that this is not cooked yet. And if you are new to my channel and don't know, I collect corning ware and I also use it quite a lot. This is uh, one of my casserole dishes. You're supposed to use a 9x9. Nine nine. Unfortunately for me, I'm yet to find the 9x9 nine nine one. Uh, but this one will do. I'm going to really grease the bottom and the side of it using butter. You can use cooking spray too if you want. But nothing really sticks when it comes to corning ware. It slides right off and Rinse it, no scrubbing needed. It's always beautiful and clean. This one is from the 70s and you can tell, right? <laughs> it's in perfect shape. So I'm gonna cut um, my crumbs in half and I'm only gonna put half of it in here. The other half is going to stay to the side, this half right here, because that will go on top. But in the meantime, what I'm gonna do here is spread all of this and really flatten it here at the bottom. So before I start putting together the ingredients for the pie filling, I'm going to place this in the oven for 15 minutes so that it can start baking. And the only reason why I'm doing that is to really start baking the bottom, otherwise it gets really, really soggy. So you want it to start, you know, melting the butter and getting all of the ingredients combined together to give you a nice pie crust. So it's just like a regular pie. You're going to bake your dough a little bit before you put all your filling. So I'll see you in 15 minutes and then we'll finish this pumpkin crumb bar recipe. I can't wait to try it. I did purchase some whipped cream too. Um, so I think it's gonna be a hit in this house. We love any fall desserts, whether it involves pumpkin or apples, we love them. And it smells delicious. So I'll see you in a second. And for the filling, I'm going to start with the dry ingredients. So of course I have my granulated white sugar, my light brown sugar, and all of my spices. I'm going to mix that together. And I'm gonna add my eggs. So remember I have one full egg and one egg yolk. I'm gonna add my 
vanilla extract and that's another half a teaspoon. Here comes my pumpkin mixed. Beautiful colors. Did you know you can give unsweetened pumpkins to your pets? And by pets I mean dogs. They love it. And it's really, really healthy for them. And my last ingredient is the evaporated milk. And again, if you prefer, you can use half and half. And here we go. It's been in the oven for 15 minutes. It started to bake and rise just a tiny bit. I'm gonna go ahead and add my pumpkin mixture to it and spread that evenly. All right, guess what? It goes back in the oven for 15 minutes. Because basically what we're doing here is setting um, the pumpkin pie part of this dish. So 15 minutes in here and what you do after 15 minutes is that you finally add the rest of your crumbs and then you cook it for another 25. So let me just put in my 15 minutes in there. All right and in a second I'll come back and we'll add the crumbs. And here we go, it's been 15 minutes and you can tell that the pumpkin filling has kind of set. So now I need to add the rest of my crumbs and I'm not worried if the crumbs themselves are not going to cover completely. I'm just going to evenly spread the crumbs. This goes back in the oven for 25 minutes. The only difference, we're still at 350 degrees, is that I'm going to raise my rack to half a height in the oven. This one was a little bit low, so it's gonna be raised a little bit higher and it's going to cook until brown for 25 minutes. You can shake it a little bit. If you see it still jiggle, that's good. You just want it to be golden brown. So this is the first time I make this recipe and I have to tell you one of the things that I really like about it is the, all that pre-baking, 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there, gives me time to actually clean up as I am waiting for the item to come out of the oven. So right now, I only have this to clean because everything else has been done. It's almost like no baking happened in the kitchen. Um, pretty cool. It smells absolutely divine. <laughs> it really does. I can't wait to try it. Now, what do you do once it's baked? You let it cool down at room temperature for an hour. A full hour you have to wait before you can eat it. Um, once it's done and it's cooled down, then you can put it in the fridge and you let it cool down further for another hour. You can eat it warm after the first hour if you want to, just like you would do with a cobbler, add some ice cream to it. It's probably going to be delicious. Some folks, like me, enjoy pumpkin pie cold. Some people like pumpkin pie warm. So it's up to you if you want to eat it right away or if you want to wait and reheat it later on. Um, it doesn't really matter. But in the meantime, I got 20 minutes. I'm going to relax, have a cup of tea, read my book and when I come back, um, we'll see what it looks like and let it cool down for a whole hour. Well, I'd say that looks golden brown to me. Uh, we're gonna wiggle it a little bit. And it looks pretty set. So I'm gonna cover it halfway. You see that? I'm not covering it fully, but halfway so that it can vent a little bit. Leave it in the middle of the counter so the dogs don't get to it. And that's going to rest for a full hour. I gotta tell you, it smells so good. Doesn't it smell great, Scott? It smells, uh, yeah. Yeah, it smells absolutely fantastic. He loves it. He's not being sarcastic. He said it smells absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Willie, does it smell good? It smells like a pumpkin. It smells like a pumpkin pie? 
it's it's got to uh, stay here for an hour before we can eat it. It's hot. It kind of looks like your mac and cheese. Oh yeah, it does because of the crumbs on top. You're right, but I bet it's gonna be more delicious than my mac and cheese. I see you guys in an hour when I um, get Scott and Willie to try it, and I'll try it too. And I have whipped cream for it. Unfortunately, Edward is going to work, so he's gonna miss out. He'll have to wait until he comes back from work. So I'll see you in a bit, and when I come back, we'll try it. Does it smell good? It smells wonderful. You're, you've been waiting, haven't you? <sighs> He loves that kind of dessert. All right, yeah, let's well, try it. Yeah, well, the crumbs it. on it, you know, the crumb cake part of it. Is, yeah, you, you like know, that? Well, it's so sugar and butter. How can you go wrong? Yeah, I know, but uh, my gut's gonna love it too. Uh, all right, it's one time. You know, Edward actually asked for me to bake every Sunday now. <laughs> yeah, of course he did. <laughs> he sits on his butt while you do that. Yeah. You should get him down here to help you. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So I got some ready whip here and this one is made with real cream, but it's fat free. You know what that means, right? I can have it on my coffee. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna, do you want a big piece? You want a corner? You want um, I want a piece. You just want a piece. <laughs> okay, he just wants a piece. Okay. We're not gonna make them too big. Oh, because, why not? Because I think this is a little rich. Okay. But anyway. Isn't that the point? Yeah, I guess it is. Okay. All right, here we go. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. You hear him? He's going, oh. I got crumbs going everywhere. The dogs are probably going to come real fast. Okay, so here we go. And we'll add a little bit of whipped cream. Yummy. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> you can't have that one. Come on. Why not? No, come on. <laughs> this is yours. You tell us what you think. Oh, no. no. Right, go ahead. Mm. Don't mind the fabuloso in the corner. I was just doing another video. Yeah, it's like a, um, it's like a crunchy pumpkin pie. Yeah? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. Do you want me to make it again? Yeah. See, so usually that's what happens. If I, if I say, do you want me to make it again? And they say, yeah, um, I'll make it again. If they go like, uh, well, you know, if you want to, I know what that means. Let me try it. How long did the, um, apple thing that I made last week last? Two days? Um, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Here we go. You'll probably see me better this way. Now, come on. Come on. Let me try it. You have the whole thing. You know I'm not going to have any. No, not right now. Child. <laughs> oh, my God. What do you think it tastes like? You know what it tastes like? It tastes, you're gonna agree with that. It tastes like a pumpkin pie wrapped in granola. Yeah, yeah it does. Oh my, <laughs> do you taste the salt at the end? A little bit of salt? No. I do because I don't eat salty. Mm. Oh, this is perfect. This is really good. I like it even better than the one I made last week. What you gonna do? I gotta stay away from this. This is delicious. Wow. A plus. Yeah. This is an A plus dessert. It is absolutely delicious. I if you we don't serve need dinner now. I said I'm only having those two pieces I had. Um if you serve this at your Thanksgiving dinner for dessert. I can guarantee you that people will have second and thirds. And then later on, when they're hungry again, because you know you have that period after three or four hours where people want to eat again, they're gonna go for that instead of leftover turkey and mashed potatoes. This is really good. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's good. Denise, thank you very much for including me in this particular challenge. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and will try it. 
give it a go. This was one of the best one I've made in a long time. This is absolutely delicious. Then again, you gotta like pumpkin. Yeah. And sugar and butter. And yeah, you know, I, I like uh, I, a lot of people, I, I've seen a lot of people that get kind of annoyed every fall because pumpkin stuff comes out. Yeah. I, I'm not one of those people. I kind of like the pumpkin stuff. Yeah, so. I like the pumpkin too. Uh, in small amounts. You know, the problem if you start eating pumpkin in October, by the time Thanksgiving comes over, you're like up to here with pumpkin pie and pumpkin flavors. You don't want pumpkin nothing, okay? But this, wow. You gonna have more? Just Go ahead, have another piece. Little piece. Well, yeah, it was a small piece, wasn't it? <laughs> Go ahead, have another piece. You know what I'm gonna have? I'm gonna have whipped cream. That's a big piece. Oh, okay. All right. Z uh, five calorie per serving, uh, which is uh, I'm having whipped cream. There you go. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> oh, this is really good. Okay. Thumbs up for this particular recipe. Edward is going to eat it away in two days, not even. It is delicious warm. I don't know about cold. We'll try it cold, but it's delicious warm. This is really good. Um, again, thank you, Denise, for including me in um, this um, fall dessert or baking challenge. Uh, go check out the channel. Her link is down below. If she created a playlist, the link is down below. Go check out Michelle, who's doing it too. The link is down below, and um, yeah, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this. No, you are not. Yes, I am. Oh man, <sighs> this is pure evil. No. This is so good. <laughs> this is. It's so good. It's like wrong. It's wrong. Nothing should be this good. Okay. You see, that's the problem. If it's if it's good, it's bad for you. Right. Right. Ah, uh, I'll have broccoli soup tonight. <laughs> anyway. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, check out the channel, and um, that would be it for me. Um, I put the link down below for this particular recipe. Again, I got it from uh, Cooking Classy. I really, really like it. And guess what? I'm going to check all the recipes on that website because this one is a definite winner. I'll talk to you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, you're not eating that little crumb right here. What? Mm. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.